What's up, guys? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Icon and their two attempts at parachain uh, slots for both Kusama and Polkadot. Um, they've been building really well, actually, and the team are creating Ethereum virtual machine compatible uh, BTP, effectively, parachains. The, the, the potential here is actually quite massive. So I really want to get into this um, because I do think there's some serious potential. Uh, before I get into that, I update the spreadsheet. Now, these are the first 26 coins I spoke about, prices at the recording, and then their highs in uh, the last bull cycle. Had you invested 100 bucks into each of these when I released videos about them and you, and you cashed out during the, the top of the market, you'd have been in profit for 123 grand. If you'd still been holding all that crypto, you'd be in profit for 10 grand difference between a bull cycle and a bear cycle guys um and i want to point out phantom phantom is a udemy i did a udemy course twenty dollars twenty dollars i charged for this course um where i said this would be the number one investment of the year i said it would 100x it did 677 um if you'd invested that twenty dollars that the course cost into phantom it made you 13 and a half grand um you know, thousands, you'd have had a house, a very nice house, and a couple of thousand, and you'd have been a millionaire. Um, when I find the next Phantom, I'm going to be sharing that with a couple of my crypto members. So go check out the site. This is where I share every coin I buy, every coin I sell. Um, read through the site. Everything's verifiable because it's all on bloody YouTube. Um, if it resonates with you, I hope to see you there, guys, uh, because I've been building my portfolio. I'm going to be adding to that throughout this bear cycle, and I cannot wait. So um, for that next bull cycle, because the profits are crazy. Um, so yeah, go to the site, check it out. Right, Icon. So look, Icon was an absolute beast in the 2017-18 cycle. Hitched highs of about 12 bucks, 10, yeah, 12 bucks. Um, then flatlined for a while, you know, for effectively for the entire sort of bear cycle period that we had. Uh, ran up to about three and a half. Well, three, yeah, about three dollars twenty or so, three dollars ten, three dollars twenty in this recent uh, cycle. But what they have been doing, because by Icon is the first, is like the OG of interoperability. I love interoperability. Look, that's the future of blockchain tech, is that you got um, chains that can interact with each other with ease. And at the moment, that's not that easy. You know, you're doing a lot of bridging. You're doing a lot. Um, you're doing a lot of switching networks. There's, the, there's not the fluidity to the process that there will be in like two years, three years. Um, and you know, their whole focus was on building multi-chain bridging solutions that are scalable, chain agnostic, and secure. Icon is looking to be a hub. To connect all the blockchains they created a blockchain transmission protocol now this is uh, what i was talking about with etp this is icon's main product and interoperability solution and it supports cross-chain token swaps as well as more generic messaging uh, features like uh, course um, sorry cross-chain um, smart contract calls um, so blockchains connected to the Icon ecosystem already, stuff like Binance Smart Chain, Near, Harmony, Moon River, Polkadot, Ice and Snow, which I'm going to talk about soon, Ethereum, Algorand, and more. Um, and they've got a pretty good ecosystem of dApps. It's not the best, but it's growing. And they are developing. Um, and when we actually check out um, the overall ecosystem of Icon, it is growing. You know, we've got um, within Icon, you know, you can through BTP, you can get onto Algorand, A, you know, A-Star, which I'm going to talk about in a couple of days. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you can get onto Ice, obviously, um, as well as Moon River, Kusama, uh, Snow, obviously, Polkadot, um, uh, Substrate as well, right? So they've got a good little ecosystem just through BTP alone. Then they've got their NFTs and the exchanges that they're in, like integrated with. Um, 
And overall, you know, the ecosystem is beginning to grow and grow reasonably well. Since the sort of creation of uh, BTP, it is starting to move in a really strong fashion. Uh, but what they have been doing is working on ice and snow. So ice is going to be the uh, par the crowd loan funded polka dot parachain. So this is their goal. Um, so ice, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. So ice aims to serve um, polka dot, and will be an extension network and application hub for the Icon ecosystem. It will be the first network to use the Substrate SDK. Um, and Substrate is obviously the development framework for high performance blockchains that are native to Polkadot and to be fair, Kusama. And Substrate powers the biggest pro projects, you know, your Polkadot, your Kusama, your Chainlinks, your Moonbeams, your Moon Rivers. Um, and Polkadot already has a massive ecosystem that's very, very strong. By leveraging Substrate's SDK, ICE can bridge the gap between ICON and the Polkadot ecosystem. And remember, ICE, you know, Polkadot is effectively a more evolved version of what ICON started off as, which was the interoperability um, OG. So ICE is optimized for ICON's uh, BTP, as I've said, um, and this will position ICE as a potential flagship chain within the Polkadot ecosystem. Um, ICE's features. Uh, ICE features a performance optimized integration with ICON's uh, blockchain transmission protocol. By building on ICE, you'll be able to connect with Binance Smart Chain, Near Protocol, Algorand, and more. Um, they're also Ethereum virtual, uh, Ethereum virtual machine compatible, so you can migrate your Ethereum DAP to ICE. That'll benefit lower gas fees and ICE's network to, of con connected blockchains. So once you migrate your Ethereum DAP onto ICE or even Snow, um, lower gas fees plus being in, able to interact with friggin Algorand or you know whatever you want because of those connected blockchains you know it builds in it is literally built in interoperability um so the ice token is the utility token to function the ice network so that the tick will be icy um and most DApps on the ICE network will use ICY as their sort of means of payment. Um, now they've done an airdrop for people that were holders of ICON, same as uh, Snow. Snow did the exact same thing. Um, so anyone that's holding ICON got a one-to-one -one airdrop for ICE and a one-to-one -one airdrop for Snow when those parachain when they land those parachains and uh, they push forward. So Snow is the mirror image of ice except snow is for kusama so same same principle it's powered by substrate um it's infinitely interoperable it will allow you to connect to all these different uh chains the virtual machine compatible um and again built-in interoperability um so again and again yeah you know they've got the airdrop but difference is, is snow right now has the uh, crowd loan starting so um this is the link i'm not putting a referral bonus or anything or code in there um mainly because as well you can't contribute yet i don't think um but so countdown to snow crowd loan is roughly five days five hours so it's roughly august 29th um so the way it's going to work is Snow is bidding to become the community-oriented and crowd loan funded parachain, serving as a canary network for ICE, just like Kusama is the canary network of Polkadot. So Snow comes packed with, obviously, the EVM, BTP, um, and backed by you know a strong layer one community. Um, I do think this, has, this does have a very strong chance of winning the parachain slot. Um, and they will go through how it's going to work, but I believe they've got more info now. So as soon as Snow wins the parachain, the contributors who helped will win reward. Will who helped us will win win will be rewarded with the proportional amount of snow. Um, and then they just run through this in their blog. Um, yeah. 
So base reward is 4,000 uh, snow tokens per single Kusama. Um, which is not too bad, to be fair. Um, though, off the top of my head, I can't remember what Kusama is currently priced at. Um, so Crowdland supporters will receive 4,000. Early supporters can receive up to 4,000 extra. Uh, this early bid reward decreases linearly with contributions. Uh, and you get a 5% bonus mechanism if you are a referrer. And 5% if you are a referee. So it's not too bad. So they've they've thought about sort of retention um, for how to get people on board. Uh, and they've got their YouTube channels now. So it's worth a look. Um, but what I would generally think is, look, I'm very intrigued by this. Because... I kind of always rated, but they didn't do a lot um, till BTP. And when BTP came out, it really started kicking on. They've, you know, they've, they've gone, they've made some really strong moves with the push for um, for the parachain slots for both Kusama and Polkadot. I mean, one thing that I think most of us are fairly certain of, and including most VCs out there. Is that polka dot is going to be here for the long run uh, so icon sort of partnering early doors bodes well for them ice network or well ice network in particular obviously because that's the chain for polka dot but i think there's something here that could do very very well now whether it's icon or ice itself or even snow to be fair snow could do well you know um but i think there's the overarching thing that, that I'm looking at is Icon's growing at a rate that's quite impressive. They're looking to really push on and kick on in a way that um, that didn't fully happen um, in 2018, 2019. But over the past couple of years, they've really started working. So I'm intrigued for the long term. And I'm not sure... I'm not sure about Icon in terms of price long term because it should have beaten its previous high. Um, but I think that's down to maybe not pushing hard enough on development. But ISIS, but the parachain slots that are the bridge functionality for all um, all of the blockchains could do immensely well. Like ice and snow could end up being massive. It's a very intriguing one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm curious. Uh, I really want to hear what you guys think in terms of, look, Polkadot and Kusama, talk to me about their parachains, which are your favorite, and tell me what you think about the BTP protocol, like the blockchain transmission protocol. Do you think this is a bridging tool effectively is going to have success? Let me know down below. Um, and guys, if you want to know the coins I'm buying up in the in this bear cycle, the ones I think are going to have the 40x gains, the 50, the 100, you know, the spreadsheet tells you all you need to know. Because bear in mind, the coins that I found in the bear cycle were all the biggest gainers. The only variable, like the only one that's a bit of an anomaly <clears throat> within it is Luxo. Luxo absolutely smashed it um, in this past bull cycle. Um, but the big boy gainers are the ones that I found in the bear cycle. So if you want to see the coins that I'm looking for right now, the ones that I think are going to kick on um, and push on and develop really well um, and price appreciate really well, come check out Copy My Crypto. The link's in the description. It's where I share everything I'm doing. And guys, everything's verifiable. You can check it on YouTube. And if it resonates with you, I look forward to seeing you there. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.